Hello, precious people, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen Gerard. I'm the president and CEO of Gerard Cosmetics, and this channel is monetized for charity, which means by watching the videos, watching the ads, sharing the videos, leaving a little like or a little comment, you are supporting two fabulous charities in my area. The first is the Domestic Violence Program at the Child and Family Center, and the other is Rescues on the Runway, which is an amazing dog rescue. So uh, my left hand is busy because I'm petting you know who. <laughs> as soon as I sat down, he came over. So didn't even wait for me to turn the camera on this time. But um, we are filming this on Christmas. Matter of fact, I'm still in my jammies. Um, I got up, I made Mr. a steak and gave him a bone. And somebody's kind of smelly now, but but we're, but we're gonna forgive that because it's Christmas. <laughs> so we are just um, chilling and enjoying a very relaxing Christmas day. Um, of course, Gerard Cosmetics has our big uh, countdown to 2020 Black Friday rewind sale that starts uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early. So still uh, putting the finishing touches on that. Um, and that's the 51% off site-wide at Gerard Cosmetics. And we also have three new mystery boxes and free shipping in the US and free shipping internationally if you spend $49. So it's a big hoopla and it's going on until New Year's. So um, so that's going to keep me very busy for the next um, few days. And so I'm going to hopefully film a couple of videos today because I am determined to finish this Vlogmas thing. So <laughs> So here we are. Um, so I did a video the other day about, oh, hold on. He's being cute. I can tell you're being cute without even looking. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. See Merry Christmas, everybody. See Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I did a video the other day on some of the new skincare products that I was testing and I asked for um, recommendations on things that you all think that I ought to try and I did order a couple of things um, and I'm excited about that but um, a lot of people were asking questions and generally on my foundation videos and stuff like that people ask a lot of questions about you know how do you keep your you know how do you keep your foundation from doing this how do you you know keep it from getting cakey and this that and the other thing and when I got to thinking about it I was like you know I really should make a video about how to get glowing youthful skin before makeup because really what you have going on in your skin is going to shine through when um when you are all uh when you're all made up okay sorry I had a hair on my lip I had to get it off <laughs> but uh so right now I have zero makeup on my face um I do have some lip gloss on and a teensy weensy little bit of mascara, but um, nothing else, just skincare, um, just skincare products. So I thought that we could talk about the things that cause dry skin and the things that cause oily skin. And then um, six ways that you can get glowing, healthy, youthful skin that's what everybody wants right so let's start with um, dry skin so I have dry skin I have had pretty normal skin most of my life until I got into my 40s um, most of you guys know I'm gonna be 52 in three weeks Oy. <laughs> Oy vey. and uh, so as I got into my 40s and further into my 40s my skin did get kind of dry um, I have to say though over I'd say the last year and a half, two years, it has gotten much better. And there is a product that I attribute that to, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So, um, you know, the thing you think, oh, okay, you know, if my, if my skin is dry, then, you know, I should just load a bunch of creams and stuff on it. That is not necessarily, um, you know, the way that the way that you should look at it, because some of the causes of dry skin, I'm going to read from my phone so that uh, so I don't miss anything. Um, could be heat, hot water, um, diabetes, hyperthyroid, uh, weather, harsh cleansers, or a lack of nutrition. So think about that, lack of nutrition. Um, now let's talk about causes of oily skin, right? Because you think, oh, you know what? If my skin's oily, I should just wash it till all the oil is gone. <laughs> and I shouldn't ever put moisturizer on it or whatever. But that is really a mistake if you have oily skin because your skin is producing extra oil because it thinks it doesn't have enough. So... Um, here are some causes of oily skin. One, poor nutrition. Two, over cleansing. Three, uh, not thoroughly removing makeup, so impurities left left on the skin. Uh, hormones, humidity, and lack of moisture. So you think if you're if you have oily skin that you have too much moisture, but the reason why your uh, your body is producing more oil is because it thinks that 
it thinks that it needs it. And so our bodies are designed to heal themselves. And so if we give our bodies the right things, they, sorry, my phone fell down. <laughs> if we give our bodies the right things, they are always going to, um, they're always going to come through for us. So, oh, he laid down. <laughs> what a good boy. Okay. So the first thing for healthy, glowy skin is hydration and hydration starts on the inside. Um, you need to drink a lot of water. I drink a gallon of water a day. I, I prefer alkaline water. Um, so I'll give this a brief explanation. And if you guys want to see a video about alkaline water, um, which I am a huge proponent of, leave that down in the comments. Let me know. And, and I'll be glad to do one. Um, but alkaline water basically works like this. Your body is considered a seven pH. Okay. So anything that you put into your body that is below a seven, uh, causes your body to age, uh, causes your body to draw on its, on its resources. And anything that you put in your body that is over seven, meaning alkaline, tends to uh, offset those things that, that tax your system. So when you, when you put more high alkaline things in your system, it helps to offset the, uh, the acidic or low alkaline things that you put into your system. So as a rule of thumb, the absolute least that you should drink of water, and by water, I don't mean liquid. I don't mean Diet Coke. I don't mean Mountain Dew. <laughs> I don't even mean coffee. Water is half of your body weight in ounces. So for the average person, that's you know, give or take 80 ounces of water a day, we'll say. Um, I try to drink about a gallon. And sometimes I come up a little short. Sometimes it's 100 ounces, 110 ounces. Sometimes it's 90 ounces. But I do drink that every day. Um, and I, you know, I sweat a lot because I do a lot of cardio. I do an hour of cardio a day. So, um, you know, obviously the water is going through my system. So I need a little bit more than um, than the average person. But hydration is huge. Um, if you think about it, if you have a flower in your garden. And, you know, in the summertime when it gets so hot and dry, like it does here in Southern California, the flower looks kind of peaked. It looks kind of wilted. It looks kind of dried out. But in the springtime, when there's lots of rain and sunshine, they look so full and so supple. It's the same thing with your skin. Um, when I don't drink enough water, and particularly when I can't get alkaline water, which is when I travel overseas, I always have a problem with that. Um, I have major issues with my skin. I always feel run down. Um, so I am a huge proponent of drinking water. Like I said, water, not another liquid. It's gotta be water. So I'm gonna say that again, just to make sure that we're on the same page. Um, another way to get glowy skin is to eat a lot of green vegetables. Green and even the specifically, the more colorful, the better. So red, purple, uh, but greens especially because greens carry a lot of antioxidants and uh, antioxidants help your body to cure itself. So what happens is if something is going on, let's say in your liver, in your, let's say in your kidneys, because you didn't drink enough water. So your body has to send resources to your kidneys to help your kidneys do, do its job. And it will rob those resources from non-essential parts of your body, like your skin. So, um, that's the simplest way that I could put it. It's not, you know, necessarily exactly scientifically perfect, but it's the simplest way that I can explain it, that it would make sense for you. Um, so number one, water, two greens. Number three is completely cleansing your skin, especially of all makeup at least once or twice a day. Um, if you wear makeup, you, I used to have a lot of YouTubers stay with me. And they'd come home from, you know, being out and they'd have, you know, this thing make fun. They'd be like, do you have a makeup wipe? I'm like, now how in the world are you going to get all of that makeup off with one makeup wipe? How would, you, how would you even get all that makeup off with three makeup wipes? Um, wipes are great for removing surface makeup, but they really don't, um, they don't cleanse your skin. You really do need something that thoroughly cleanses your skin. So 
what I use is the Slay Away the Day Makeup Removing Balm. And when I said earlier that I that I felt that uh, one product had attributed to um, to the condition of my skin getting better, I believe that that is this. And it's it has a coconut oil base, and I believe that 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 is why. Because I was testing this before we launched it, and I, I couldn't believe how soft my skin felt. And sometimes when I don't wear makeup, I put this on anyways just because it feels so good and it smells so good um, another way to make sure that you remove every stitch of your makeup is a makeup eraser um, there's this is a two-sided cloth I do have a video um, about the makeup eraser and I will link that for you here but this is a great invention and it really is kind of magical because you think oh this isn't gonna work um, but one side of it is for uh, cleansing getting off makeup and it will take off everything if you scrub with just a little bit of water. Um, I like to use the balm and then and then scrub with this. Uh, that's just more my routine. But uh, yeah, these are amazing. And then the other side is for exfoliation. So, um, so now let's talk about number four <laughs> because number four is exfoliating. And by exfoliating, that means basically to remove um, dead skin from, uh, you know, from your face. So you can do that with the opposite side, the long-haired side. So the short-haired side is for makeup. Long-haired side is for uh, for uh, exfoliation. And by the way, I am an affiliate with uh, Makeup Eraser. So I'll put that information in the description box. And remember, these are also available at Costco.com. And uh, they're a pretty good deal on those at Costco as well. So, all right, exfoliation. So a couple of things that I like to use to exfoliate is this is my favorite actual like exfoliating product it is the double dare spa um, lemon peeling gel this stuff you just put a little bit on your finger put it on your face i've already used it so i don't want to use it again um but put a little bit on your face let it sit for about five six seconds and then just do this and you'll see like tons of dead skin will start to collect uh, around your fingers and this is very reasonably priced um, it sells at, at Macy's for $22 and one of these I've had this since last June and it's still got a little bit in it so I use it a lot too so that is very very awesome um, as far as like not necessarily for exfoliating but for cleansing um, just to remove the impurities from your skin because beyond just makeup um, you know like I said I sweat a lot uh, I love this Tula Probiotic uh, Purifying Face Cleanser. This is $28. You can get it from Ulta. You can also get it from, uh, you can also get it from Tula. And uh, I, I love this. I wash my face for an entire minute. So I remove my makeup and then I wash my face. Um, I shower two or three times a day. So I wash my face two or three times a day. It's not necessary that you necessarily wash it three times a day. I just like to do it. But I make sure that I wash my face for at least one minute per day. Um, and I love this cleanser. I do use a couple of other cleansers as well, but this one happens to be my favorite. Normally what I'll do is I'll cleanse with this one and then I'll use another one after I'll either use a, a moisturizing or a, um, you know, a balancing or whatever. And sometimes it's not so much about the products. It's more, um, you know, just about the uh, consistency of it. We'll get to that in a second. So here is another um, another tool. This is called an Urban Butterfly. I actually received this as a Christmas gift from one of you. Um, thank you very much. I love it. It has, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little black sponge in here. And so what you do is you squeeze your cleanser onto it, and then you can just scrub away. Um, that way, if you you know, your hands are not perfectly clean or whatever this you can very easily sterilize um and it'll hold the the suds for you and allow you to scrub so this side is for cleansing and you see it's got the little dots on it uh Ferreo actually makes a good tool for that too um, although it's very pricey and this side is for exfoliating i would say that this side for my skin is probably a little bit harsh um I'm okay with the little beads, but the uh, the uh, sponge texture is a little bit is a little bit rough for my skin. But this side feels amazing, and I always make sure to scrub my decollete, my neck, my face, and the back of my hands because that's how you tell how old somebody really is. Look at their neck. Look at the back of their hands. 
you'll know. So anything that goes on my face always goes on the back of my hands, always goes on um, on my decollete. And then I also use a neck cream because neck is my is my problem area. Um, and but most of all, it doesn't really matter so much what the products are because you can find bougier or more affordable product options than these that I've shown you. But um, it's the consistency. It's doing it all the time. You know, if you if you have a bad day and you fall asleep on the couch with your makeup on and you just get up and go to bed, you just can't do that. I mean, you just can't do that. You have to you have to scrub it off. You have to make sure that you get every bit of it off. And that's probably why I shower so many times a day because I have to make sure that my skin is clean. Um, but I don't go crazy with fillers. I do a tiny little bit of Botox, maybe once every year or so. Um, let's see, I'm gonna be 52. I would say I've done it six times since I was 40. So every year or two. I think there was a long stretch that I went without it and then I did it more often for a while and then I just kind of stopped. Um, and right now I have not had any Botox in almost a year. So I've never had a um, a really like harsh like laser peel, chemical peel, anything like that. I've had a pumpkin peel once um, that Julia gave me about three or four years ago, I think. And, uh, and, I, and I do uh, radio frequency treatments, which of course is... Uh, non-invasive and if you guys follow me on facebook you see my you see my radio frequency machine but if you if you want me to bust that out and make a video let me know in the comments and uh, and i'll be glad to do it because it is a very inexpensive non-invasive way to um, to maintain your your youthful skin and then the last thing that you want to make sure that you are doing to get healthy uh youthful glowing skin is use an spf and people will say, well, I don't need an SPF. I'm just going to the office. You're going to ride in the car to the office and the glass in your car will magnify the sunlight very many times. And listen, I'm not, I'm not preaching to you guys because when I was 14, 15 years old, I used to ride the bus to Santa Monica Pier and I would lay on the beach with baby oil on my face, which is why I have sun damage. <laughs> but um, if it is not nighttime, you need an SPF. It doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's snowing, whatever. You are, you, you still potentially could expose yourself to UV rays um, with, uh, you know, if you, if you don't use one. So uh, there's a number of them that I really like. I think I've shown you guys a couple of them um, over time. And I do intend to spend more time getting into the actual skincare products. I just thought I would show you these because they are um, part of the process. And these are really things that you can, that you can do that aren't expensive. You know, so if you're somebody who's on a super tight budget, well, you can drink water, right? Uh, you, water is not expensive. Well, it is expensive now compared to when I was a kid, you know, you used to be able to just get out of tap. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> you probably end up with Lord knows what, you know, some kind of third eye or something. If you, if you, uh, drink the city water these days, at least here, I don't know. I don't know about you where you are, but here it is not, Let's just see it's the only one. Um, <laughs> right. uh, but I do want to get more into the actual products, um, show you guys the things that I'm um, plugging in and out of my routine for morning and night. Um, and I also want to make a video for you guys on how I prep my skin for foundation because um, I think that also will answer a lot of the questions. But if you have um, you know, continuous issues with your skin, then, um, you know, then there's something that, that is probably not being addressed either in the things that we've talked about or somewhere in your diet. Maybe there's an allergy to, you know, gluten or dairy or who knows that is showing up on your face. Because generally speaking, if you have, um, you know, breakouts, eczema, whatever it is that's going on, that's showing up on your skin, it is coming from somewhere in your digestive system. So something isn't agreeing in there. And sometimes you have to like take a whole bunch of stuff out and then start slowly putting them back in to see what it is. Um, the only consistent issue that I might get is um, as I've gotten closer to uh, to menopause, like every now and then I'll get like a kind of a painful pimply thing and, uh, and I'll put a little bit of like the progesterone cream, it'll, it'll go right away. And then sometimes, um, especially in the summer when it's hot, I'll get like bumps on my forehead. And sometimes when I use like cream contour products, I'll get it on my cheeks. And the way that I fix that is just do little 
piano taps around my face and I just do that for a minute or so for two or three days and they those little bumps will go right away. Uh, the skin just needs to be energized and that little bit just helps to detoxify it and uh, makes the bumps go away. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, let's have a conversation about this down, down below. If there's anything that I missed or um, something that something I said that you disagree with, I'd love to know about it down in the comments. That's what we're all here for is to have a fun discussion um, surrounding all things beauty. So um, coming soon, be looking for a um, how to prep your skin for a healthy, youthful glow. But I felt like it was more important to put this information out there first because, like I said, if you have a nice canvas for makeup to work with, it's just gonna be gravy from there. So <laughs> why not make it easy, right? Um, if you made it this far in the video, you really do deserve a medal, but why not share? Because after all, sharing is caring. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so that you'll know anytime that Mr. Yogi and I upload a new video. He is very busy being cute and getting spoiled for Christmas. Huh, little Santa Paws. Santa Paws being good to you, yes. <laughs> He's giving me the cute face. But I just hope that um, that everybody had and is having an awesome Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, wherever you are, whatever it is that you are celebrating. Don't forget to check out the uh, countdown to 2020 going on over at GerardCosmetics.com. So many good deals over there. And I hope wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're just having an awesome day. And I'll be talking to you very, very soon. Bye.